Hello, thank you for stopping by. Today, we're gonna to take a look at a pretty interesting French sewing pattern from the 1940s. I am guessing this is post-war 1940s. I couldn't imagine it being during the war, but uh, once I open it up and look around, maybe I'll find a date. This is a uh, worker's outfit is what the Etsy listing said. Uh, Google Translate tells me that this costume to tr de travail basically says that like work outfit. Um, in canvas. You can see here it costs 40 francs and you've got this really cool artwork here. It also tells me on the front at the very bottom, you might not be able to see that well, but uh, I think you need five meters of 60 inch uh, fabric. Going over to the back, you can see there is a seal on here that is still in place. This pattern has been unopened. The instructions through here basically just tell you how to do the cutting. So on the back of the pattern here, you have the cutting guide and then you have the cutting directions. This little box down here, uh, this is my best guess from Google Translate, but it seems correct. This little box down here tells you how to change the pattern size to enlarge it or shrink it down a little bit. I believe this is a 44 inch chest. I would like to open this without ripping any paper, so I'm gonna try a little bit of ironing to see if I can get the glue to come undone to open it neatly, so let's go over to that. All right, here at the ironing board, I have my iron on a uh, pretty high heat with the steam turned down fairly low. That didn't seem to do much, so let me try some steam. I gave it the old college try, but it doesn't seem to be working. Uh, I'll never read one to uh, read people's mail without it being noticed. So I'm just going to open it as carefully as I can. It's probably going to be a giant mess. This paper is so old and brittle and it's been glued for so long. I was hoping the glue would just come right off, but apparently they used good quality glue back then. All right, not ideal, but there we go. Okay, let's take a look inside. Let's turn that around so you can see it coming out. It's the first time this has ever been out of the package from the 1940s. That is everything that was in this package. It is an unprinted pattern, which means it just has little holes uh, that I'll show you in the pattern to indicate directions. Uh, and it's only one size, so there's no cutting lines. My first impression is that this paper feels a little bit rougher and heavier than what you would have gotten with American sewing patterns of the same era. Let's unfold this and see what all we've got. I am also noticing that it doesn't seem like there are actually uh, printed directions. I don't know if that would have been bought separately or what. Let's move this out of the way. Okay, I've definitely got a sleeve piece here. This is a pant leg. As I go, I'm just going to refold these as neatly as I can. This one has a four in it, so my best guess is that this would be a pocket piece. All 
I am not a stickler for refolding things as closely as possible to their factory folding condition. Uh, sometimes the factory fold condition is kind of crummy. Um, this has number five. It might have been another pocket piece. That's all I could guess from a perfect little square. Okay, this has the number 15 perforated out of it. My best guess would be some kind of shoulder tab or possibly cuff tab. The next piece is a number 10. Not exactly sure what this is. Interfacing, maybe a cuff, something to do with the pants. I'm not sure. Uh, piece number 14, maybe a collar stand would be my best guess. Update, I just used Google Lens again, and this is actually directions for what each piece is. Uh, so number 14, I think, is the fly front. It doesn't translate super well. Uh, number 10 was a cuff. So going forward here, we'll know what each thing is. Piece number seven, this has to be the collar. This is the upper collar. Figure number six, this is the under collar. Piece number nine, this looks like the undersleeve. Big one here, piece number 12. This is the trouser back. So the one I saw before would have been the trouser front. Next piece, number two. This is the back. It looks like it would have a nice like tapered side here. Uh, so just judging from the pattern pieces so far, it looks like this would be a fairly fitted suit. Work suit. Piece number three. This is the facing. Piece number 16, this has to be the pocket bag. I can't imagine it being anything else. That's just So underneath that piece, there was this little tag. It looks like a quality control thing. Uh, please, all right, kitty cat, it's not the time for you. Could you go? I really don't need you laying down right now, cat. All right, well, let's see if we can work around her. All of our patterns are checked and verified before being put in the, I believe that says pouch, pochette. Um, I'm not gonna tell you what Google Translate told me that meant. <laughs> okay, so that little quality. And that brings us to our last piece. Piece number one, and I'm trying to show you without the cat attacking it. She likes to play with paper. Let's move the camera a bit. Okay, piece number one, it's obviously the shirt front. Couldn't be anything else. And that is everything that is in this pattern. And Pearl is being very calm right now, but I want to get all of these pattern pieces away from her before she becomes not calm. Back into the sleeve they go. It's now time to seal this pattern back up. Uh, maybe one day I will want to make it, but that day is not today. Uh, it's going on uh, backing sleeve and into the comic book pouch. I got these from my local comic book store. They are uh, acid free, like archival quality. So they are meant to hold paper and keep it from uh, getting damaged by its 
storage container, seal it up. And unless I decide to actually make this pattern one day, that will hopefully be the most damage that was ever done to it. Uh, but I couldn't just leave it unopened. I had to dig in and see what was going on. If you have found this video interesting, please give it a like. And if you have not already, please subscribe. The next pattern opening video will be of this pictorial review pattern for a men's button up shirt. This is from the mid to late 1910s, early 1920s, not sure of the exact date, but it'll be fun to open it up and see what's inside. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the future. Thank you.